Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another World's Worst Tattoos. You know this series. Unless you're new here, then you don't know this series. But welcome to the channel. I appreciate you coming to check me out. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. This is World's Worst Tattoos over 100 and something. I don't know. I, 133? Something like that? I don't know. Let's do it! Hey, what's up? Farty hard. Oh, it's like party hard, but with farts. I get it. Farty hard. Lower back tattoo. An extremely large lower back tattoo. You know, I've seen worse lower back tattoos, so farty hard is probably not the best one I've ever seen, but it's also not the worst. And this is a pretty well done tattoo. Farty hard. Do you ever, like, get someone really close? Like, yeah, check out the detail in my tattoo and then just fart on their head? Just wondering. And when you fart too hard, isn't that just considered a shart? Farty hard? Yeah, don't fart too hard, because then you shit your pants. Oh, here's another lower back tattoo, see? This one is much worse. A little thong lower back tattoo. Ooh, stylish. 20 bucks you were drunk when you thought this was a good idea. Yeah, it's gonna be hilarious. No, put it where everyone can see it all the time. No, I actually wear thongs, that's why it's hilarious. It is pretty funny though, you know, it's a good joke tattoo, it's subtle, it's somewhere where you can cover it up, kind of, although he put it pretty high, so it's like you're always gonna see it. I don't know. Eh, nah, it's crap. Here's a Diet Coke head tattoo, sniff sniff. Sniff, sniff sniff. Diet Coke head. Is that like you love Diet Coke, or are you a Coke head? Or do you love Diet Coke and Coke cane? And Coke cane. Do you love Diet Coke and cocaine? Is it, again, it's a very well done tattoo, but it's just the subject matter. It's gonna make everyone think you're a coke addict. Unless you wanted that to be the effect it had, then great. You either love Diet Coke or you love cocaine. And that's always gonna be the question people ask when they see your tattoo. But that's fine, because it's pretty funny. Just make sure you always have a Diet Coke in your hand. Strength, strength is courage. Strength is courage. You had the courage to get a misspelled word on your back. Amazing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you are a tattoo artist, you need to know how to spell. But then I've heard from tattoo artists in the comments under my videos where there's tattoo artists and they're like, look, I can spell, but sometimes people insist on getting their bad version of the tattoo tattooed on them because they think they know better. So they're like, hey, they give me the money. I just put the tattoo on there because that's what they keep telling me they want. And you t you can only give them advice, I guess. You can be like, hey, that's spelt wrong. They'll be like, ah, no, it's not, okay? I'm not even going to spell check it online. I know. I could see that happening where it's not actually the tattoo artist's fault. I mean, it's not horrible. I don't really like the bird. I don't like everything about this. But if it was spelt right, it wouldn't be in this video. Oh, yeah, look at that Popeye tattoo why is his arm so tiny and skinny isn't he supposed to be like okay i know he's got the big forearms but you know you could have made him have a little muscle this is a really bad popeye tattoo although i know it's popeye so it's probably not the worst popeye tattoo in the world but yeah why are his uh his biceps so tiny i know I know he's all about the forearms, but with the size of that forearm versus the size of that bicep, it looks like he probably can't really lift his arm. Oh, a little hand tattoo. Oh, tacos and burritos, taco flavored kisses. It just reminds me of that South Park episode. That's all I can think of. Taco flavored kisses. Maybe that's why they did it was because it's like a tribute to that South Park episode. Or maybe they just needed to practice kissing and they wanted something realistic. Or maybe they're married to the hand. Or maybe they wanted to seduce Ben Affleck. So they got this tattooed on their hand in hopes that he would hook up with them. If you haven't seen the South Park episode, that joke's not really going to make any sense. But just remember, taco flavored kisses for my Ben. Taco flavored kisses for my Ben. Ay, 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 ay. This is the creepiest Simpsons tattoo I've ever seen. A mix between Lisa and uh, Mr. Burns. Makes for one creepy ass little girl. She looks like she's gonna chew on my neck. But not like hurt me, but just like chew on my neck with her, her teeth. I don't know why. It's just like, like in a weird half sexual, half like alarming, it hurts kind of way. But yeah. Weird. Thug nasty. Damn. Are those single dollar bills? Oh shit, I see some tens in there. Wow, this guy's got like $56 in his hand. What a baller. Thug nasty. And then these other tattoos just kind of show he's not making the best tattoo choices. But I mean, he's thug nasty. Shit, is that your rapper name? West Side. 
Damn, she's wearing pants and then pants. But she's kind of just losing her other pair of pants. None of these clothings look like they fit you properly. I'm sorry, but it looks like you crammed yourself into your high school clothing and you haven't bought new clothes since high school. I'm sorry, you need to upgrade. I'm not trying to be rude, but you look very uncomfortable right now. You need to upgrade your wardrobe because this does doesn't look comfortable. You cannot be comfortable like that, right? This does remind me of a story about when I first moved to my uh, new area and uh, we hadn't moved in yet and we went to get, to, we went to see the town and walk around downtown and I got ice cream and then uh, some local guy called me, uh, he called me droopy pants because my pants were kind of drooping because I was holding my ice cream in one hand and I was you know, my pants were kind of falling off my hips and he called me droopy pants. He was like, first he was like, hey, you guys got ice cream. And it's like he was taunting us, you know? It was like, we moved to like a smaller town. So, one of these locals, man. We have one homeless woman and she keeps asking me for money. You know, I just kind of throw it at her and run because I'm, I don't want to get stabbed. No, I usually just roll my window up slowly. <laughs> Sorry, this story's going a little, this video's going a little off topic, but the one homeless wo woman, the first time she approached me, she was like, hey, I need $2 for the bus. And I was like, there's no bus that runs through this town. So you're going to take my $2 and walked it to the, like, three hours to the t next town over and take the bus? What? There's, there's no bus. What bus are you taking? Are you getting on the school bus with the children? Because that is weird. That is going to scare them. I hope she gets help. I don't even think she's homeless. I think she just, like, she just begs for money and then goes back to her house. I think that's pretty much, she doesn't live in the street. Anyway, I hope she gets better. Okay, because she's creeping me out, so. For those who ask for a better picture of my tattoo, here it is. He has about two to three hours left. Oh my god, you should probably employ him to do like, I don't know, like 10 to 12 hours more on that. Why does the lion have such a droopy eye? What? Is he going to give this lion like a face surgery? You know, like lift that eye up? Because right now the lion looks like it got hit in the face with a shovel and it's, it looks like a mix between like if it got hit in the face with a shovel or it like took too much Xanax and now it's just like... Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great, guys. I love my dad. No, I'm fine, dude. That shovel didn't even hurt me. There's a lot of tattoos out there that look like they got hit in the face with a shovel. I use that one a lot. Let's change it up. Not a shovel. Looks like an anvil fell on his face. I don't know. Oh, and here's another Jesus basketball tattoo. And I just looked for these in the last video, and I was like, the last tattoo video, I couldn't find any other Jesus basketball tattoos because I showed this one and look someone else has it. There's two people with this tattoo This one looks like it might have been drawn on this person's back with a sharpie That's what it looks like to me, but uh, you know what? I like the sharpie version better than this one here and here's an even better Basketball tattoo check out this one. That's pretty cool I mean you should probably get that growth removed you need to go hit up like dr. Pimple popper or something But you made it into a tattoo, which is kind of cool But you know you could still get it removed and then just add a basketball there There's no reason you have to have this growth I feel like any doctor could just kind of like slice it and pop it I don't think you have to live with it, but you know what you embraced it So that's kind of cool and we're gonna end with a sad TikTok from a girl who regrets her tattoo now clearly <laughs> Listen, it's a good joke. It's a great joke even, but I need you to stop anyway. Oh, I feel so bad for her because your tattoo does look like someone eating ass. I know now knowing that that's not what it's supposed to be, but if I just saw that tattoo without any explanation, that's what I would think it is. Clearly what she was trying to do was like someone embracing and like leaning on someone else's shoulder, but yeah, looks like someone eating ass. I'm sorry that this has been what people are telling you, but at least you know now, right? Like, you don't want people to lie to you because it's an easy cover-up. And I actually went to her TikTok page to see, like, how this progressed. And she said now she's getting a lot of suggestions from people on how she can cover it up and make it better. And she seems like she's in better spirits about the whole thing. I think you need to get it covered up. And it's very light outlines and like that a good tattoo artist will be able to make that into like a beautiful masterpiece don't worry but uh <laughs> it's the saddest that <laughs> she's on the verge of tears i feel so bad for her you had that tunnel vision you saw your tattoo you thought it was great because you knew what it was but you have to think when you're getting a tattoo what are other people gonna think when they see this i don't know but you know i hope she gets it covered up and maybe i'll do a little update on her later if she does get it covered up to see what she turns it into.
Hopefully not someone eating ass. Maybe she'll just embrace that and be like, nope, now it is a tattoo of people eating ass. So, screw you guys. Anyway, that's the video today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.